All right, you guys, I'm going to, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome to Storytime with me, your host, Kenita. Now, y'all know I be having a whole lot of stories. I've been on the planet, you know, a little while, enough to accumulate a lot of stories, right? And I think some of the funniest stories I know as, um, or I've had the experience with, like I said, when I worked as a health inspector, um, that was crazy. And then from there, um, the story has just got crazier and crazier, okay? So, and up until uh, Dahmer did what he did, um, a lot of us didn't even want to um, work anymore in that capacity. And a lot of us quit. A lot of us resigned. A lot of us retired, whatever. But these stories and this particular story is when I was uh, working full time and it was, you know, when the job wasn't horrible. Yet, okay. It didn't have all those mental, um, you know, just mental baggage with it. So this is really kind of not funny, but it's just going to show you how detrimental, detrimental a lot of us uh, are living. Well, in this one particular neighborhood, uh, none, none of the neighbors hardly initiated uh, cleanup orders, okay? And in fact, it was always the older person that would come and leave stuff on our desks. You know, this is a property I want you to check out or X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. So this one particular house I went to is on Northwest side, um, and it was a, a, a problem with, um, I guess, some new people had moved in and they saw a dog chain there. And they called the older person because they just saw what they looked look like, a, a comp, you know, a deep composed dog. So, of course, it was my area, and I was dispersed out to this particular uh, home. So, you know, when I went to the door, I was like, you know, the first thing we do is we are supposed to canvas the area. We don't need to knock on the uh, 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 Home, homeowner or the renter's door, but it's to do a, a quick visual of the property. So, you know, what you do is usually check for a dog. You might rattle a gate or whatever. And in this particular home, of course, I rattled the gate and no dog came. So I opened it and kind of was, you know, just a observing and doing little quick takes around the yard. In this yard, there was a big, big tree. And yes, there was a chain wrapped around a tree. And when you walked a little closer, you could see that there was a collar and it was fur. And you can see the remnants of a skeletal decomposed dog. Now, I don't know how long the dog was out there, but from the looks of it, it was months. You know, it doesn't take long for I know dogs to decompose. Uh, they decompose rather quickly. Um, but this situation, I would say, if you asked me to give my expertise opinion, I would say he had to be out there at least nine months to a year. Because there was nothing left of the dog. There was just fur around the damn collar. And I said, what the... So now I'm, I as, as a, a pet owner, you know, I'm livid, really. Um, so I went to go knock on the door at this time. And of course, 
when I went up there, there's all this music playing. And, you know, they're having a good time, obviously. Nobody saw me go around the back. So when I came around to knock on the front door, I knocked. I knocked again. So this guy comes to the door. I promise y'all, I can't make this up. This guy comes to the door, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah, what's, 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 what's up? You, you five oh? And I was like, "No, I'm not, not the police. What? Do you know? Are you aware, sir, that there is a chain in the back of your home that looks like?" There's a decomposed dog back there. And I don't know how long he's been there. But are you aware of this? Now, of course, you know, I knew he was aware of it. If he go outside, go by, at least because the garbage cans couldn't have been no more than, I don't know, maybe about, um, you know, it, 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 it couldn't have been that, that much. Maybe five feet. So you know what the guy goes? He goes, oh, damn, yeah, you, oh, that dog's still back there? Oh, I told my nephew to get, I told my nephew, to, and, and I'm just staring like, what the hell am I hearing? What the hell? I couldn't believe it, you guys. He said, oh, I told my nephew to get that dog up. So there was no follow through, obviously. Nobody cared. And the damn dog was dead out in the backyard. So, of course, I had to call the Mac unit to come out and pick up the dog. And it was just insane. So I was saying to myself, you know, you can't be an animal lover, and you most certainly can't be a dog lover to be doing this and to be telling me that you told somebody to pick up the dog, but he didn't do it. I was so through. I was so through. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And every time I think about it, I'll be like, oh my God, they did what? Yeah, that's what they did. That's what they did. That is exactly what they did. I don't know, family. Some people just so far gone. But that that is my story time for today. I know it's a horrible story. But it's real. And it's real out there in these streets, especially when you go out there and going up into people's yards. You don't know what the hell you're going to find out. You don't even know what's going to be there. But it's real. Anyway, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, share, channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.